great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Oklahoma Sooners and the TCU Horn Frogs. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Horn Frogs know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. First of all, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind the arc. Find those shooters. Second of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Third, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Got the high pick inside. He pump fakes. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. For two. And he missed. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to pack it in. Makes the block. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. With the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I tell you, great footwork too to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He takes the shot from the baseline. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. There's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. Gave it up. The frustration right there. The shooting guard with the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. From the baseline. He's money with the shot. That's a 13 nothing run. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Fed the low block. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. There he is, strips the ball loose. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. The power forward gets the ball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Inside. He wants a three. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. He'll regroup the offense. Up and inside. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's a double team. He takes the shot off the baseline. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. In the paint. He launches a three. He buries the shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The point guard takes the pass. He tries to knock down the three. Patterson is eager and excited to compete. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For the bucket and off the mark. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes for the ball handler. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post player flashing. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. TCU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Kicks it out. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. up for two. They still don't score. The center takes the feed. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can fit. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He hits it. Turns it over. the dribble gives it up gets it back out 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the ball goes out of play. And a momentary look from three-point land. He takes it away. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Horn Frogs are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First shot is good. It's early here, but it's been a blowout so far, Dick. It's definitely heading in that direction, Brad. And he got them both. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He's got a nice shot fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. He launches the bomb. He makes the shot. The Sooners are a respectable defensive team. I think the old adage is offense wins games, defense wins championships. That's what I like about them. Solid defensive teams always have a chance to win. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. And the jam. There's a double team waiting there. And they get the turnover. They run it up into transition. Looking for contact. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. The fans are really satisfied with what's taking place out there on the court. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. Dick, I'm seeing national rankings slide big time if this one keeps going the way it is. I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable. It just shows you if you play with some intensity and emotion and passion, a lot of beautiful things can happen. And we have the typical scenario here where the superstar player is coasted, sliding and gliding, and the other dog is playing like a fierce wildcat. Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. On the outside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. 
Puts it up, looking for contact. It's the replay, please. Picked out of the air. The center gets the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball, drains the shot. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Here's a double team. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Unloads, scorches the net. The Sooners have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Gave it up. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. <laughs> Fakes it. And he'll kick it back outside. Picks off the lazy pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Palmer goes to the line for the first time. Got to make the freebies. Misses the second. He grabs the rebound. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For the bucket. In and out. Steal. They're working around the arc. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Look at these fans. They're loving it. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Take another look at that play. Oh. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from downtown. He gets the shot to fall. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket. The Horn Frogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Stop the basketball. They won't let that go. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Second shot, no good. Grabs it. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He fires away. Gets it to go. <laughs> That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. He makes the block. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Opportunity for two. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And he missed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Great pro hop move to the basket, Brad. I like the way he asserted himself drawing the foul. To the line. Hits the first shot. Takes 
away the pass. The suit counted and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Steals a pass. Launches it. No good. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. At halftime, the Horn Frogs are ahead by 19. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. TCU did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot, if you ask me. They basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Dick, this has got upset written all over it. A team that's not supposed to win versus a team who's supposed to win. That means one thing. The lower-ranked team has nothing to lose. And he'll kick it back outside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. The fake, a high screen. He gets that one to fall. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's electrifying in here. The defense is taking a beating. Back to the drawing board, baby. Good fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Off the rim and no good. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Good job defensively. Tries for two. You betcha. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. He rejects it. 
Gave it up. Length of the floor. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. He does the sweet fake shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Penetrates and kicks back. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Order, order, order. Working it around the perimeter on the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Moving it around the perimeter. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Looking for a good shot. He gets the rejection. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He shoots from the top of the key. The Sooners have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. from long range. Goes in. That's why we have instant replay cameras. <laughs> Gave it up. Way out on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Foul called. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. It's good. Momentary look from three-point land. Shoots it. Knocks it down. Let's look at it again. Fake. Gets up to make the block. They'll work it around the arc. Picked off. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Takes it off him. They get out on the break. Now the kick out. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gives it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Yeah. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Look at that spacing. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Gets two at the charity strike. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Got some room. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Both free throws go. On the outside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I need to see that again, Brad. Entry pass in the paint for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, takes the pass in the paint, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Picked out of the air, jumps into the defender, tickles a twine. Wide open for the shot. Great block shot. They don't get back in a hurry. Tries for two. Oklahoma have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Sooners are almost expected to be at the national tournament these days. The recent success has garnered greater expectations. It's the story of evolution. Evolution of a college basketball program. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He attempts the trifecta, it sticks. Picks off the pass. Dump it inside. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. 
Moving it around the perimeter. Shoots. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, I know you like bench productivity. What are your thoughts so far on this one? Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. You're only as good as your 12th guy. Almost always holds true to that statement. Well, your bench play plays an important role in games, but also in practices where they're expected to push the starters. Competitive practices will result in better game performances. And the better game performances should result in more wins. For the bucket, and in and out. He gets the rebound. perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Blocks it. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flasher is open. Gave it up. And the fans are going wild. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. TCU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. One on the shot clock. In the paint. Leans in. And he scores it off the glass. Picks off the lazy pass. opportunity coming up they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And they come with a double team to stop it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's game. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He goes to the free throw line. Gets his first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the dribble, gives it up, and the ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. For the deuce. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. They'll work it around the arc. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter.
Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the tray. Buried it. Quarter. whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Intercepted. Fast break opportunity here. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. He intercepts it. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Dante tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. What kind of energy are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Get that sucker out of the game, man. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Gave it up, takes away the pass. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He attempts the three. He buries it. Let's slow it down on the replay. is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Launches away. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They are hitting some great shots. Not a whole lot you can do on defense when they're hitting good shots. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. A whistle and a foul, and the coach not happy on the sideline. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. There's a reason they're called free throws. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. 
He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's the trap. He unloads a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Steals a pass. Defender right up on the ball. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Controlling the ball. A strip of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Up and inside. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He buries the shot. Dick, they're really going to have to regroup. This is a big shock, I'm sure, to their fans and the coaching staff. they got to find a way to come back because they weren't what they expected. I don't want to do close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from what's made them such an outstanding team, being unselfish and sharing the ball. TCU wins with a gaping margin of victory tonight. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.